designer took a breather from her busy schedule of being a model, mother, and now Monday wear designer to give me insight on how does she even find the time to do it all. This is Marianne's problem. I am on Arapita Avenue, the Mecca of Trinidad Carnival. I'm here to ask a couple questions to some of the most influential Monday wear designers in Trinidad. So I'm Niall and this is Influence Me Behind the Beats. I'm Maria Fogel. Um, most people would know me from Instagram or modeling carnival costumes, it's all about the region. Um, but I've danced over the years and I've also taught children for many years. And now after having my own baby, I thought, why not have a second? <laughs> and now I have my own Monday Way line. Tell me, why not? Why have a, uh, now that you have a, you have a baby, you take out a new challenge? which is another baby white. Why, why take on that shirt? You know, after being off the radar for some time, I thought, you know, it was important for me to get back in there, not just modeling, but to really stamp my name in the market. And I've been in it for so long that I thought it was important to jump in it and Monday Way was the, the right move. Why this particular collection? What was the inspiration behind it? Huh. Okay, so to be very honest, um, my plate is full always. Once you have a child, you learn that, you know, it's not very easy coordinating in your life. So uh, I give props to my friend, um, Taisha. Um, she was the one that I decided to go to and I said, hey, I want to do this. Let's work together and figure something out. She sews and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I had her do some sketches and we worked together. I was like, nah, change this. I was like kind of the yes and no person. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, with that being said, I still didn't have it in my head quite yet that this was happening. It was only like the week of the photo shoot when I was like, wow, it's really coming to life, you know? So that's kind of how it all <laughs> came together. Okay, do you feel at all when you being now being a designer know us about how it's going to be interpreted by the public of course of course that was like my number one thing i was like listen we need to come good and you know i was i i don't know i don't know how to explain how i felt maybe that's why to control my nerves i said listen just keep calm if it's to be it will be and you know i just try to remain focused on what the goal was you mentioned that you don't have a name for your collection, but you do have an ethos and a theme. Give us a little bit more about your theme. So in thinking about the collection, all that could come to mind and I really, what was important to me is to make it sure that it aligns and what made sense was saying that it's my time. You know, I played on the word time a lot in that it was my time to step forward, my time to, you know, as I mentioned before, stamp my name in the market and I was also a little bit late in dropping. So <laughs> if you look at the teaser video, you would have seen me rush into set to like get in, you know, make it in time, but that's kind of where it went. Okay, so time. All right, and I would like, I will throw my hat in the ring for a name. I would say the Infinity Collection. Yeah, because it's endless. You know? I like that. So, so now that I've given you a little, <laughs> a little piece of, 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 of what I thought, uh, let's get into the names of some of the people. Right? So you have Aurora, Twilight, and Ethero. Tell me what these three names in particular kind of tied back into your world. So what I wanted with the names of the pieces was basically to represent a feeling. You know, how would it make you feel even if it is in the moment when you experience an Aurora? How does that make you feel or the time of the day when it's twilight you know so that's kind of where 
I was going um also I kind of looked at the color of the pieces and I was like trying like maybe some blue <laughs> um aurora some green and you know at that point in time it's like okay something needs to work and you just make it happen but it was definitely just about how each piece might make you feel okay well let's talk about feelings what does how does ethereal would ethereal make you feel you know so ethereal is very light very dreamy you know um it's one of the more covered options but there's there the sleeves and there the feathers very light feathers down to the end um so that gave me that feeling how light it is and um it's it's a tasteful piece you know so that's kind of way i was going with that the color also is um purple you know which tends to kind of feel a little bit angelic who is the woman that you were designing for specifically with ethereal and what what makes ethereal different so ethereal is definitely for the more conservative person you know it's a little bit more covered but you know how to have a good time for sure so it's a little bit conservative in how it looks but when you get out on the road to express yourself it's all about enjoyment okay all right let's talk about twilight okay twilight was made for the one who wants to be a little bit sexy but classy i think that's kind of what i go for throughout you know sexy but classy so it has a little bit of mesh which you know gives coverage i mean it feels like it gives coverage but you know you still see you know um the sequence of very bold and it's only road in that reflection you know it's very energetic i'll see let's dive right into golden hour right yeah who's that woman what are the cuts what are the materials for golden hour so Golden Hour is definitely for that brave, powerful, um, confident woman, you know, who is ready to embrace all of them and just go out there and have the time of their lives, literally. So this one is a real. Mm. We have the sequence and then we have a mix with the um, spandex. <laughs> and, you know, this one is a little bit more covered. So for Twilight in particular, what accessories or makeup or hairstyle or you know that someone should wear with that? What do you see? Honestly, I don't want to limit people. I want them to be themselves. However, they feel most confident and beautiful, whether it's sleek, whether it's out and just you know free on the road. It's all up to them. You are model, mom. Wonder where this item. How do you get the time to deal with all of those things? Oh, you work overtime, literally, because you wake up early, 5 a.m. <laughs> my human alarm goes off, <laughs> and you know you keep going throughout the day, you know, um, and until bedtime, until you continue working to get through what you need to. It's non-stop, but. It's a matter of dedication and knowing what you want to achieve and you just keep pushing. Is it that you have like a support team around me that can help in certain aspects and certain areas? Of course, I have the world of support. You know, I have friends, family um, that I could call on at any time. And even if it is that one person isn't available, I always have someone there to back me up. And I think that's definitely how I keep going, how I'm able to be the same energy energetic and happy married because trust me it's not easy okay up next at this point we're going to have a rapid fire question now where all you got to do is just give me the first okay. answer at the top of your mind do not overthink it and we'll get through it ready okay let's go okay so monday or tuesday <laughs> okay let's turn <laughs> Okay. Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Podcast or playlist? Playlist. Slippers or Crocs? Crocs. 
Sorry, pull up each. Front line or back line? Front line. Salt or pepper? Pepper. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Cash or card? Card. Cash or credit card? Credit card. 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 Credit who are we talking about? <laughs> okay, text. And okay. Uh, driver or passenger? Driver. Alright. Uh, rum or wine? Wine. Dining or eat out? Dining. Okay. Movies or TV shows? Uh, hobbies. Let's go with love or money? Love. Uh, sweet or salty? Sweet. I like salty. 